Hey, I'm Brad Yates, and it is my great pleasure and privilege to be able to work with people to help them feel better, do better, and live better. It's what I call the Michelangelo process, because Michelangelo said the statues were already there, perfect, inside the marble, and all he had to do was chip away what didn't belong to reveal the masterpiece inside. And that's how I look at people. The best version of yourself, the most successful version, the happiest, healthiest version of yourself is already there inside, but trapped under excess marble. It might be fears, doubts, guilt, shame, all kinds of stuff like that that we just need to chip away using this process called tapping, also known as EFT or Emotional Freedom Techniques. It's a simple mind-body tool for down-regulating stress. And that's the stress that comes up when we try to make changes in our lives. Because there's a part of us that says, even if my life is crap, it's my crap. It's what I'm used to. I don't know how to deal with something new. So when we try to make changes in our lives, we have a stress response that tries to stop us. That's why I like to say that self-sabotage is simply misguided self-love. Even when we're doing things that we know sabotage our financial success or our physical well-being or our relationships, it's because some part of us inside says, you know what, I need to keep things the way they've been, even if it's really crappy. I need to stay safely in my comfort zone. And so we do those things. And this is a simple tool for clearing away the stress that comes up when we try to make changes so that we can say, oh, you know what? It is okay for things to get better for me. I actually do deserve to have an awesome life. And you do. And so you may ask yourself, how does a grown man find himself tapping on his face for a living? Well, <laughs> I actually started out as an actor and I toured the world doing theater and decided to go to Hollywood and become a movie star. And while I was there, I did a couple of things. I went to Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailey Clown College, uh, but that's a whole other story. But also while I was there, I met a woman, fell in love, got married, and uh, when our first child was on the way, I thought, you know, I should probably have a backup job. <laughs> so instead of getting a traditional steady paycheck, nine to five kind of job, I trained to become a hypnotherapist because I'd always been fascinated by the power of the mind particularly ever since I read the book Illusions by Richard Bach. And so I started doing the hypnotherapy practice and was really enjoying that. And it was great because my training as an actor, you know, gave me this great voice for putting people to sleep. And in this case, when the people fell asleep, it was actually a good thing. So I started doing that. And after building that practice a little bit while still pursuing my acting career, a couple of years later, when our second child was on the way, I realized that as much as I loved acting, personal development work was really my calling. This is what I really felt I was meant to do. And so we actually packed up, moved out of Los Angeles, moved up to Northern California to be closer to our families. And through some other hypnotherapists, I heard about tapping and EFT. And I went to a training with Gary Craig, the founder of EFT, and fell in love with this process. And I studied it, I started introducing it into my hypnotherapy work, and little by little it became tapping sessions with a little bit of hypnosis at the end. Still love to do that. And then YouTube came along and I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if there was a tapping video that people could start their day with? And I'll call it Tap of the Morning. And that was all I ever intended to do, was that one video. And about six months later I thought, ah, I should probably have another video to end the day. Tap of the Evening. And then I'm done. Well, now I'm up to about a thousand videos because I keep coming up with ideas of ways to help folks clear the stuff away so that they can feel better, do better, and live better. And I hope that you enjoy the tapping. I hope you'll use it as part of your uh, daily regimen for allowing yourself to feel as good as possible. And that sets you free to do as good as possible, which makes the world a better place. And uh, along with the stuff that went on in LA, I need to be clear that uh, I'm not a doctor, but I played one on TV. I hope you enjoy tapping. Please use it. Please allow yourself the best life possible because you deserve it and it benefits others. Thanks.